How's it? Today we are going to be talking about our marriage. We are getting married soon. It's on the 20th of September. People have been asking me quite a lot about this, so I thought, fuck it, I'll make a video about it so that we can clear up all the doubts. Yeah, just for the context of it, I'm French, I have a French passport and he has a South African passport, which makes things a bit complicated for an international marriage. But it can be done and we started in February and now it's September. But it's... Yeah, it's taking a long fucking time. So the first thing that I had to sort out was my birth certificate. I didn't have an unabridged birth certificate. That took me nine weeks to get. Yeah, yeah about nine weeks because nothing happens faster in South Africa besides the driving. So <laughs> That's crazy. When I think that I can get that paper on the spot in France, I can get my birth certificate immediately, but he has to wait for like two months. Yeah, and then it was a lot of other processes that we had to go through after that. We had to go to the French consular, consular many times with yes. the train, which is another 50, 55 k's away. So we go there, come back, go there, come back, sort some things out, paperwork there. Yeah, we had to show birth certificate for you and me, a proof of a residency. Yeah. Uh, what else? And we also had to get that stamp from Durko. Yeah. To certify that it's an international birth certificate. Yeah, and that it can be used internationally. Every time you have a paper from another another country, you have to add an apostille on it to show that it's uh, genuine. Yeah. So, with regards to a wedding, there's not going to be a wedding or anything fancy like that. We're just going to show up to the home affairs. That's where we get our marriage certified, get it done. And what we need for that is two parents, two witnesses. So that's all that we're going to do in terms of a wedding. Yeah, and something crazy, we need an affidavit from our both uh, parents' pairs. That's crazy. It's a paper saying that our own parents are informed of, of our wedding. Like, or our are, marriage, yeah. Yeah. And that they, <laughs> that they approve of it. Yeah, somehow. And that we haven't been married before. And we are not minors. We are supposed not to need our parents. No, we're supposed to make our own choices in life. So yeah, the system is pretty crazy. But we do what we have to so we can obtain the freedom that we want. All we really want is just to live together in France. But because I'm born in this shitty South Africa, I don't get the travel freedom that most first world country people do. So now I have to go through the motions to get what I want. It's not that I really want to get married. I just do it so that I have the freedom that I want. So... Yeah, there are several ways to make him come to France permanently, but uh, getting married is the easiest That's way. That's the least hassle this way. So, this is why we are getting married. I mean, if we did live in the same country, we wouldn't get married. No. We would just have a normal relationship and we'd be fine with that. But this is unfortunately the procedure that we have to go through to get what we want. So, I hope that clarifies why we are getting married and how the marriage is going so far. Yeah, if you have any questions, just uh, ask us below. In the comments yeah. down below. Yeah. Because you have not mentioned all the papers, but uh, I'm not sure everyone is interested in the whole detail of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, lots of fun, as you can see. We're having so much no, fun. No, we're actually sick. We're having so much fun. <laughs> we're sick of it. And you've come to South Africa. This is your third time now. Yeah, three times this year. Yeah, three times. So hopefully after this time, it is done and we get to have our fun in the mountains of France. Yeah. Ciao for now.